Now consider another example. This is a three level memory system. There are cache memory, disk memory and cache main memory. Now cache access time given is 15 nanosecond, disk access time 80, heat ratio 0.96, main memory heat ratio 0.9. Now the question is what should be the main memory access time to achieve average memory access time or effective access time of 25 nanosecond. In the previous lecture we have solved using two level memory system. Now the average access time of the memory system will be T average equal to HC into TC plus HM into 1 minus HC into TC plus TM plus 1 minus HC into 1 minus HM into TC plus TM plus TS. Here HC means heat ratio of the cache, TC means time to access from cache memory, HM means main memory heat ratio 1 minus HC means miss ratio, HC means cache heat ratio, TC means time to access cache, TM means time to access from main memory and TS means time to access from the secondary memory. Now we will put the value, we know the value of T is equal to 25 then 0 0.96 into 15 plus 0 0.9 into 0 0.04 into 15 plus TM plus 0 0.04 into 0 0.04 1 into 15 plus TM plus 80. Next, we will simplify this equation and we will get the value of TM will be 27. So, the main memory access time must be 27 nanosecond to achieve effective access time of 25 nanosecond. Good morning students. Today our topic is TLB. The full form of TLB is translation look aside buffer. Now we will see what is TLB. In paging scheme, the main memory is accessed two times to retrieve the data. What are the two times? One for accessing the page table and another for accessing the data. The access time for main memory is large. So, one new technique is adopted to speed up the data retrieval. Here, a fast register is used to hold most recently used page table entries. When CPU need to access a particular page 
TLB is accessed first if the desired page table entry is found in TLB page entry then it is called TLB hit and the frame number is retrieved from the page table to get physical address in main memory. If the desired page table entry is not found in TLB then it is called TLB miss. CPU searches for the page table in the main memory and after that it will retrieve the data. So here part of the page map table is kept in a high speed register that is called TLB. So now we will see grammatical representation of TLB. Here is your CPU that generate a logical address. One part is called page number, another part is called page offset. In case of paging, we have found that there is a page table. In the page table, page number were indexed that holds the corresponding frame number. But in TLB, this portion, suppose this portion is kept in a high speed register that is called your TLB. So here your frame number, frame number, frame number, here is your page number, page number, page number. So part of the page map table is kept in a high speed register. When CPU generate a logical address, it is divided into two parts, page number and page offset. This page number is used to access in the TLB. If the desired page is found in the TLB, then from here we will get the frame number and we know that page offset equal to frame offset. If the desired page is not found in the TLB, then the main memory will be searched and from that we will get the frame number and this frame number and frame offset will be your physical address. So that is all about TLB. Now we will see a numerical example on TLB. Suppose in a given problem it is stated as TLB access time equal to 20 nanosecond. Main memory access time equal to 100 nanosecond. TLB heat ratio equal to 
zero point eight. We have to determine the average memory access time. The formula of average memory access time in case of cache memory using cache memory it was using cache memory it was h into tc plus 1 minus h into tc plus tm where h was heat ratio tc for time to access from cache memory 1 minus h is miss ratio then time to access from the cache memory then time to access from the main memory using this similar concept we have to compute the average memory access time in case of TLB the formula will be TLB heat ratio into TLB access time plus main memory access time so if the page is found in the TLB then this if the page is not found in the TLB then it will be TLB miss ratio into TLB access time plus 2 into main memory access time. So, if the desired page table entry is found in the TLB, then it will be TLB heat ratio into TLB access time means time to access from that page table from the TLB. Main memory access time means we have found the page table entry into TLB. Now, we will have to retrieve the data. In case of TLB miss, then it will be TLB miss ratio into TLB access time because we have to first search for the desired page table entry in the TLB. If the desired page table entry is not found in the TLB, then we will have to search for the desired page table entry in the main memory. That's why there is one main memory access time. Again, after finding the desired page table entry, we have to find the data. That's why it is 2 into main memory access time. Next, we will have to just put an addition. So, this is the formula of average memory access time in case of TLB. Now, we will put the data. So, TLB heat ratio from the given problem is 0 0.8. So, we will write as 0 0.8 into TLB access time equal to 20 nanosecond plus main memory access time 100 plus TLB mesh ratio 1 minus 0 0.8 into TLB access time 20 plus 2 into 100 so we will get 96 plus forty-four equal to 140 nanosecond so this is the average memory access time using TLB. Next, the topic is inverted page table. Why the inverted page table comes? In paging scheme, the in case of page table where Page number act as an index. Page number 1, page number 2, page number 3, page number 4. That holds the corresponding frame number. But here, each process has a page table associated with it. One of the drawback of paging scheme is that each 
पेज टेबल कॉन्टेन मिलियन ऑफ इंट्रीज एंड दस मे कॉन्ज्यूम लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ फिजिकल मेमोरी टू सॉल्व दिस कॉन्सेप्ट एन इन्वर्टेड पेज टेबल कम्स एन इन्वर्टेड पेज टेबल has one entry for each frame which act as an index in the page table each entry consist of the virtual address of the page with its owner process id so this is the concept of inverted page table here the frame number will be act as an index that holds the corresponding page not only the page number it will contain its owner process number so page number with its owner process number so this page table is known as inverted page table using this concept the consume of large amount of physical memory will reduce to illustrate between the paging technique and inverted page, page table let us take an example suppose you have write down you have three home in the whole district in paging scheme if you write down your home belongs to which district then you will have to write here district 1 district 2 district 3 district 4 district 5 district 6 and so on but there is valid entry only at two location so this index will take a large amount of physical memory to reduce the pace we will do the following things that means home 1 home 2 home 3 district which district to which district which district so this amount or this amount of space is not needed by using this technique we can reduce the consume of large amount of physical memory that's why the inverted page table comes using this technique it may decrease the amount of memory needed to store each page table but it increases the amount of time needed to search the table when a page reference occur because the inverted 
page table is sorted by physical address but look up occur on virtual address the whole table might be searched for a match this search need a much longer time so we found that using this inverted page table we can reduce the amount of memory needed but it increases the search time for this we will use a hash table to limit the searches to one or most a few so instead of inverted page table we will search using a hash table and that concept is known as hashed inverted page table so we have moved from the page table to inverted page table and from inverted page table we are moving now to hashed inverted page table